Have you ever wondered how Lin Man, a person with fish in 50, was able to obtain it within a couple of months? Well, in this video, in Himli and I will be exposing the strategy he used to obtain fish in 50. Before we go any further, only a small percentage of people that watch my channel are actually subscribed, so if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Firstly, you're going to need a few things before trying this method. There are two main rods that you can use. The first rod is the Shredder and the second rod is the Rod of Legends. If you go ahead and recombobulate the Rod of Legends, you will get a higher sea creature chance. Second thing you will need is Diver's Armor. You can use Renowned on this armor set to increase the sea creature chance. To apply Renowned, it takes one Dragon Horn per piece. This is very expensive, so if you're not rich, I wouldn't recommend doing it. You will also require bait. This means the third thing you will need is either whale bait or fish bait. Whale bait gives more sea creature chance, however has a slower fishing speed and is more expensive than any other bait. Fish bait gives faster fishing speed, however provides you with no sea creature bonus. You will want to get your hands on two pets. This is the dolphin pet and the squid pet. The dolphin pet increases the sea creature chance by 15% while the squid pet increases the amount of fishing XP you get by 30%. Now that you have everything you need to begin using this method, let's get into it. The method is simple, it is combining the effects of the dolphin pet and the squid pet. The dolphin pet is used to fish up the sea creatures out of the water and the squid pet is used to kill the sea creatures. To be the most efficient with this, you'll want to be at the barn. Now you'll want to get to the barn through the spider's den. The spider's den has periodical rain, this means that fishing is faster in the spider's den. After arriving, you want to use the grappling hook or the aspect of the end to get to the barn. Now that you are at the barn, you will want to come to the water spouts. If you stand here on the edge, the sea creatures will get flung onto the ground and not aggro you due to the dolphin's ability. This keeps them relatively well bunched together and easier to kill when it comes to swapping. So how do you know when to swap to the squid pet? If you are using bad line, you can add a timer onto your screen, otherwise you can use one on your phone. 360 seconds after you fish up the sea creatures, they will begin to despawn. Therefore, as soon as you fish up a sea creature, set a timer for 300 seconds and kill them when the timer goes off. If you rod swap, it allows you to take the fishing speed from a shredder and get the sea creature chance from the rod of legends. Another thing that you want to do is get a fishing party. If you know people who want to gain fisher XP faster, all you will need is a fishing group. Firstly, you can get a party of 5 and take turns dropping down to kill the sea creatures with the squid pet active. Doing this gets you around 160k XP per hour if you fish alone, however you can get up to 200k XP per hour with 5 people as you will have a boost of 25% fishing speed. Now I don't expect you to take my word for it, so I'm going to be fishing for 1 hour with this setup and in Himali we'll be fishing for 1 hour in the spider's den but on the hub island. So we are finally here at the barn and I'm actually going to be fishing for around 1 hour to show you guys how much XP I can get and how much money I can make. This method is actually pretty insane and we're going to be going ahead and comparing it with the method that Inhumly is doing. This is so that you guys can see a visual representation. So as you can see, I have 768k. So in one hour, we're going to be able to see how much XP we can get. The one thing that I did realize is that my XP is going to be lower than I expected. And that's due to the fact that my squid is a very low level and it's not at max level. I'm not going to be getting around 160k but I should be getting something close to it. It will just pretty much show you guys that leveling up a squid is very important. But yeah, you can see like rod swapping is actually doing something. I'm still not 100% sure if it's a myth or whatnot. But rod swapping. Oh, Emperor, let's go, boys. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Yes. Two Emperor scores just like that. Bro. You know what my saying is? Use it and abuse it. That's what I be saying. Another Emperor. Oh, oh. No, Emperor. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. And two more emperor skulls let's go dude i'm really just kind of rigged like 
I'm just showing you guys the power of this method. It's absolutely insane. There we go. 91k XP. So I'm just going to quickly do some maths. And we're going to see how much XP we ended up with. In that little session of grinding that I did for one hour. We managed to get 122k XP. And that is absolutely insane. Even though I only had my squid pet at level 61. If I definitely had it higher, I would be able to hit the 160k mark. But let's actually go ahead and see how this compares with the regular fishing method. Alright, Max did his run, I'm doing mine, I've got myself a little splash. We are in the spider's den but in the hub island as you can see. It's awfully quiet over here. I'm going to be fishing at this spot here. Uh, I've got my one hour timer in front of me. I've got my stopwatch and here is the before. If you have a look in fishing, here is my XP. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started now. All right, guys, we have just passed the 10 minute mark. And so far, sadly, we have got nothing yet. Okay, it's not looking good for us. We've still got 50 minutes left. We can still maybe make it work. All right, guys, we just got our first Titanic. That's actually, uh, that's pretty pog, not gonna lie. I think that sells for around uh, 300K on the uh, the auction house. So the, that, that will go down very nicely. Okay, boys, boys, I got my first Emperor. Let's see if this guy can ink wand it for me. Okay, he did, and uh, it doesn't look like we got anything. It doesn't look like we got anything. He ink wanted it, you know, one emperor. We're doing good so far, boys. We're doing good. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of my loot from fishing in there. Okay, boys. Well, I mean, hey, it, that's all right, you know. Easy, quick double drop from an emperor. Like Max said, use it and abuse it. Okay, and we just got a Hydra, you know, this is going to be carrying our XP. We also got the Fish Infinity Talisman, boys. It's looking good for us, you know, we literally just got that Emperor. We just got this Hydra right next to it, you know. Max, I am coming for your XP. We are exactly halfway through right now, and uh, so far we've got one Sea Emperor and two Hydras. So, uh, it's not looking too bad at the moment, you know, we're on track to catching up with Max and his XP gain, but, uh... I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, boys. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. All right. And that is the timer done. No more fishing. That's uh, that's everything. I'm going to go and compare my stats to Max. All right. So Inhumily and I have just got done fishing. And we were able to see how much XP we got. As you can see from the method that I was using, which is the best method to use, I actually got 122k XP where Inhumanly was fishing normally at the hub using a dolphin pet and he was also rod swapping and he actually only got 64k XP. So due to using a squid pet, it definitely makes a lot of difference in terms of XP gain. And you can also see that I could actually get more XP if I went ahead and got my squid to level 100. If you made it this far into the video, make sure you comment hashtag YT rank down below as we are less than 900 subs away from YouTube rank. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, and while you're at it, hit the bell too. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.